Meet Year 7. Awesome! It's the most important year of school so far. We're not here to have a laugh and a good time. We're here to learn. <laughs> With so many changes, new friends, Ooh, yes, have you got a car? and new teachers. You are a Greenwood boy. It's an exciting world to discover. Wow! It can be fun, but sometimes it can be tough. There are different challenges for everybody. We're in year seven, we're acting like three-year-olds. We've rigged another secondary school with loads of cameras. Is this what you see when you look for a camera? Because this is awesome. So you can find out exactly what happens. You're on report by my request. I'm Trev. <laughs> I used to go to school here, but now I'm one of the teachers. Last question, because you're going to run out of time. Welcome to our school. I need a wee. Moving into Year 7 is a bit like moving house. There's a lot of different emotions and plenty of upheaval. But it's also exciting to tackle something new. This time we're getting to know three Year 7s who are turning massive corners in their lives. Meet new girl Sam. Got nothing in there. And identical twins, Josh and Dan. I'm gonna make a noise this time. <laughs> their stories may seem very different at first, but they're a lot more connected than you'd think. It's break, on, and not for the first time, Sam is trying out something new. And then blow it. <laughs> Sam moved into the area a few months ago. Most of our Year 7 pupils know each other from primary school. But she didn't know anyone. I can't do it. When I had my first day here, I felt quite nervous because I didn't know anyone. Everyone was a stranger to me. It was a new area, new environment, basically. Blow harder! <laughs> but this isn't the first time Sam has moved house. My dad's um, part of the army. She can move around a lot. I've lived in Belfast, London, Germany, Peterborough, Cyprus, and here. See ya. Sam's mum and dad have recently split up, so mother and daughters have temporarily had to move in with the grandparents. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Hi Samantha. At the moment, I'm living with my mum. Did you have a good day? My sister, Joanna. My other sister, Stephanie. <laughs> my nan. <laughs> my granddad. <laughs> and there's me. Well, yeah. All in the squished house. <laughs> At the moment, there just aren't enough beds to go round. Samantha, where are you sleeping tonight? With Mummy! Joanna's got the bed, Stephanie's got the floor. Me and my mum in the double bed. My nan's on the sofa and my granddad's on the floor. Can you keep your legs to yourself and not in the middle of my back, please? I'll try. <laughs> when the crowd at home gets too much, Sam comes to After School Club, the sanctuary. What kind of house would you live in if you could live in any house? A three bedroom house. A three bedroom, boy. Because then I get my own room, my sisters have to share, and then um, my mum can have her own room. All my life, it's been feeling like you're living in a box because you have to pack up, unpack, pack up, pack up, pack up, unpack, and pack up and unpack again. It's a year of big dreams for Sam. Her mum's on a waiting list to move into a new house, but that could take ages. I would like this year to actually find a house this time. Oh, will it? It will feel really good because, like, you're not, you know you're not going to do any more moving. You're staying here. And that's it. Will Sam be able to make this town and this school her home? The twins are, well, you can see they're, they're pretty identical, right? You, if you're wondering which one is which, then let's just say that's Daniel, I'm Josh. Josh. 
getting ready for school tends to be... <coughs> Dan, is that you? <laughs> is that you, Daniel? Having a poop? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it stinks. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's very easy to get the twins mixed up. Even my mum gets confused, but because, like, sometimes she don't care which one goes upstairs to help her with something, she just shouts a random name. At school, teaching assistant Laura works with the boys all the time and she still gets it wrong. What we're going to do is... Dan, right, guys, you're going to have to help me out. I can still, at this point, I'm going for your Daniel, your Josh. I'm still getting to grips with who's who and some days they wind me up terribly about which boy's which. I'm Daniel, here's Josh. No. No. Stop it. <laughs> Are you playing? I was the right first time. Yes. Boy, oh, okay, you terrors. Stop it. So how am I going to tell these two apart? Josh got a slightly more rounder face than Mick. Thanks for your input there, Josh. So, this one's Dan and this one's Josh. Any other differences? We've got these different bags. The same, the same bag, but different colour. Yeah. Does that help you, Laura? I still can't tell them apart. <laughs> what? Please. Yeah. Just go. But there's a flip side to the twins. Yeah. They're dealing with bigger issues than people getting them mixed up. We have autism. We've got this thing called Asperger. <laughs> Asperger's. Asperger's. And uh, it's basically when we get mad or anxiety. Autism affects people in different ways, but for the twins, it's all about their emotions. Sometimes we can't control our anger. When it gets out of hands. I'll get that. When their emotions flare up, it can lead to some very bad behaviour. What's the problem today? Why don't you want to do the lesson? We can't control it. It's like you, you don't want to do it, but then you just you like go through it and you can't like stop. And it can be just normal, everyday things that set them off, like this. Your homework was to get that done for this lesson. In history, Josh has forgotten to do his homework and is told off for it. You need to do the homework. Simple as. Josh gets himself really upset and at the end of the lesson, he storms out. Can I have a little word? This is where Laura comes in. It's her job to support the twins and try to calm them down. How are you feeling now? Are you OK? When you're in trouble of, or, like, upset, she'll help you, and then she'll help you get back to lesson. So are you all right now to go to your lesson? One day, one might be fine. The other day, the other might be fine. It just depends on the day and the weather. <laughs> the boys are hard work, but Laura really cares about them. Josh and Dan are absolutely amazing young men. Is it Miss or Mrs? I'm definitely a Miss. <laughs> Trying to say I'm old enough to be a Mrs. <laughs> we have lots of laughs. We've had tears, but we have a lot more laughs. Success! I meant to give one more win. This year, with Laura's help, perhaps the twins will take more control of their emotions. So I have some. Forms I need to give you. These need to go into one of the pockets of your folder. In tutor time, the class has to write down a list of everywhere they've lived. That's a big task for Sam. Where I was born, all the way down to how old I am now. Yep. How many lines do I I think she may need a bigger piece of paper. I'm gonna only go to 11. Who are the people next to her? Yee! Sam's getting on well with classmate Amira. <laughs> I've got this friend called Amira. If you're new in town, making a friend can mean everything. Once you've made a friend, unless they don't move, you're not going to move. You can stay with that, them out for your school years. <laughs> Amira's helping Sam get to grips with the Birmingham accent. To me, Birmingham's weird. <laughs> You've got people speaking, like, weird accents. Not in. Not in. Remember people always go water? They say, like, other stuff that they say. Um, they go bass. Not in. Not in. They call people bab. <laughs> bab. They go home tonight and say, not in. <laughs>
That's all good, but Sam still hasn't heard anything about a new house. Little girl, stop crying. Sometimes all the upheaval of her home life can be upsetting. I'm coming, Mama. Please stop crying. It's not good to feel that you don't have a home of your own. Sam's due a bit of good luck. Let's hope she gets some soon. I'm going to give you some paper. You need to write everything you know about reggae. It's music, and Sam is sitting next to Josh. And is our computer is our song? Now, what's he rummaging for? Josh has brought in one of those little electronic fart machines. <laughs> <laughs> Diarrhea. That's one way of trying to make new friends. Not sure if that's going to impress Sam, Josh. <laughs> oh, actually, she seems to find it quite funny. <laughs> Sam has made quite an impression on Josh. She's in all my classes. She's <laughs> very nice. And technically that's all I can say. Josh playing it pretty cool there. Let's see how that pans out. Macbeth is a play written by William Shakespeare. It is considered one of his darkest and most powerful tragedies. So this really afternoon, fun. Josh has English. 60 seconds to discuss it. If you know, tell the people on your table. Don't tell me, tell them. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. <laughs> He's still messing about with that fart machine. Three, two, one. The rest of the class think that it's something you ate, Josh. In the future, there will be. Oops, the game's up. Fine, so I'm going to ask you, Josh, OK? I'm asking you politely. Josh, don't I'm do it. It's not a good idea. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh boy, I need to send a red card downstairs. Don't want a red card, I'm not I doing it anymore. A red card. I'm not Fine. doing it anymore. Final chance then. So thank you. Stop talking. Josh has had enough and storms out of class. Thank you. Josh's emotions can get him into trouble like this. Laura's heard about him leaving the class and isn't happy. It's not nice for the teacher to hear, like, those noises, is it? The rude noises. It's fun for at home or at break time of a lunchtime. Through her classroom window, Sam spots what's going on. If you give it to me now, it won't happen in your last lesson because you would hate for, for the same thing to happen in your last lesson. Don't be going to go to math. Right, no, 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 right. Josh, we, we can't have you picking and choosing what lessons you go to, sweetheart. I thought I'd just make another incident. Well, you won't make another incident. I will help you all day long. I will always, always help you. But when you're not helping yourself, Josh, that that's not on, is it? Do you want me to have the little gadget that makes the funny noises? It's up to you, mate. You want me to take care of it? Good call. Well done, Josh. Maybe this could be a real breakthrough for him. <laughs> Laura's keen to help the twins overcome their difficulties and has scheduled a weekly social skills class with them. I was sitting here. I was sitting here. These sessions let the twins practice different day-to-day -day situations to help them keep their cool inside and outside of school. Today I was playing a uh, board game. Laura just wanted to help us with our social skills and was playing a uh, what would you do? Right, what colour would you like, boys? Red. <laughs> you want red? Sometimes people do get upset by their actions, but we're here to d help them deal with that and help them learn social situations and how to overcome those problems. Let the games begin. Five, where am I? One, two, three, four, five. You forget your lunch. Well, 
What do you think? What would you do if you forgot your lunch? I'd get mad. Would you? Well, I'm actually going to a Would you maybe go and come and see one of the base staff yeah. and see if there's one? I think I've asked Natalie you. and she's gave me a uh, sandwich and a yeah. drink. Yeah, see, there you go. So we can normally sort it for you in something like this. Like the board game helps the twins to figure out how to react to other people, to make the right decisions and not get carried away. Yeah, I'm going to make a noise this time. <laughs> <laughs> Six. six, three, four, five, six. You see your teacher in the street. Right, so if you were to see I'd me... Wave, I would well, wave to her and say hello. Perfect, there you go. If you see me in the street, I would expect you to wave and say, hi, Mish, all right, you yeah. know. It's hoped that these lessons will help the twins take more control of their behaviour. Well, with these answers that you're giving are really, really good answers. Because I'm in a good mood. Fantastic, six. I like... Yeah, I like good mood, boys. Ow. OK, it's time to put those new social skills to good use. Josh has decided to ask Sam out on a date. I felt nervous and embarrassed because uh, there's loads of other people around. I just kind of not But I did get my confidence and S. And... Good luck, Josh. Hi. Any chance you want to go out? Where? To uh, Star City and Crazy Golf. When? I don't know, but my mum will arrange it. Yes, please. Success! Well done, Josh. Josh asked me out on a date. Um... <laughs> it's official. Josh and Sam are going out. Oh, my God. He's got a girlfriend. So how does that feel, Josh? Excited about what comes next? I'd like to future the be da 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 I'd like to future to be. I'll probably have a few arguments one time. I'll probably get married if it's possible to stay with her that long. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Maybe don't mention all that to Sam just yet. It's the day of Josh and Sam's date. Time to get ready. So, Josh, what are you going to wear? Dan's trying to be helpful. Sort of. Do you reckon any of um, you'll be able to kiss Sam for him? Oh, sure! <laughs> <laughs> All it is is a day. I've made my choice. I think I'm going to go with this one. Good luck. Hope you kiss Sam for Shut up. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the crowded house, Sam is having to deal with annoying little sisters. Samantha, I think you look pretty nice and pretty ugly. Why ugly? Because, <laughs> you know? The first date checklist. Number one, make sure you smell good. You don't really make me feel like Superman, but I'd love to have powers. Two, get your hair sorted. I don't like that bit. Oh, I think I'm looking good. Three, get on with it. Thank you, Joanna. And don't forget the flowers. Josh. Have a lovely day. See you later. And now the waiting game. Hope she doesn't stand you up, Josh. Oh, here she is. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. First up. Can everyone round the golf, please? Flipping it! I was absolutely rubbish at the mini roll. Where is it? It's when when I whacked it, it landed on the stairs. Excuse me, that's um, my ball. I had to get someone to throw it back up. <laughs> Try and pull it over. Yeah. Four. How much? Five. I thought Samantha was, was pretty good at it, but I won. Oh, that was so much fun. That's plenty of excitement for now. Time for lunch. Here's your chicken and chips. And a chance to get to know each other a bit better. Right, Where was you living before? Basically, I've lived in Belfast. Yeah. Germany, this in um, Peterborough. Northern Ireland. I can't remember where else. Oh. So have you moved or not? So you, you're a lucky one then, aren't you? And what better way to let lunch go down... It looks awesome! ..than hopping around on this thing. Right then, I'm ready. This is awesome! I love this! I like stuff. 
floating. They're just floating in here. And people just have to look up. No, oh. 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 <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> this is the best day ever, even up till first. Yeah. Time to go home. And one last goodbye. Yeah, you enjoyed it. Yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to see this again? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Love you too. I'm exhausted. Great day, you two. <laughs> Things seem to be looking up for Josh, but for his twin, it's a different story. Right, morning, year seven. Morning, Miss Crowther. So we're going to do a little project about getting to know you, getting to know me, getting to know each other. Dan has art and the class are having their photos taken for a project called This Is Me. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> to help the class learn about themselves, they have to draw a self-portrait. But Dan is struggling. Come on, I want you to try this task, Daniel. Wait. Uh, 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 Let me see what you do. OK. That's it. Let's calm it down. He's finding it really hard to put his personality on paper. He didn't want to reflect on himself at all. Um, sometimes he does find this difficult, as does Josh also. Daniel, 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 stop, stop. Give me that, give me that. What's the matter? It's all got too much, and Dan's taken out of class for a time out. He was very upset, um, didn't really want to speak to anyone. So what would you prefer to do? Would you prefer to do artwork or play a game that's a board game for literacy? But the brothers are in this together. Josh is out of lessons too and can see that Dan's upset. He tries to calm him down. Do you want to play, play against Josh? Scrabble? With help from his brother and Laura, Dan settles down. You want to... Oh, there you go. Dan's going to go first. Wonderful. Dan, you'll be Josh. The Battle of the Twins. How many was it, Harry, sweetheart? Did you add it? Four. Yeah. By the end of the game, he's a much happier boy. <laughs> Proper teamwork. Well done, lads. OK, then, guys. In you go, then. Year seven have hair and beauty. Josh is one of only two boys to have signed up. Right, you're going to be doing nail painting and nail art, OK? There was, like, loads of girls saying why well, you were in here, but I said, boys can do this too as well, you know? One side is to shape the nails, which is the lighter side. I felt proud of them because not many boys do it and there's a lot of teasing going around. No. You can do me first, cos I'm no good at it. <laughs> But Josh may have had a special reason for putting his name down. It was nice that Samantha was there. You're shaking, you can tell. Careful there, Josh. That one's good. I like them pinky the best. You're flipping it. You've got really long nails. And now, Josh's first manicure. Can you lift it up a little bit? Thank you. Sorry about your skin, Josh. For Sam, Dealing with Josh's emotions has been a bit of a learning curve. Well, it's made me understand a bit more about autism. Sometimes I try to calm him down. Make sure you hit every bit of the nail. He don't get angry around me, does he? Is that all right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And Samantha did this. We haven't got no <laughs> light on the list, dogs. actually. <laughs> Manicure we've got on the list. Oh, I think you was a bit good. I was rubbish. I was rubbish. Was I good? Yeah. Good. <laughs> and breaking news. Sam's heard something very exciting. Well, I've got a house. <laughs> That's it. Sam's mum has finally found a new house for the family. My reaction was I was, like, screamed. I was like... And this is their first visit. Are we ready? Who's excited? <laughs> Looks great. Lots more space than with Nana and Grandad. What do you think of the front room? Is it nice and big? This is going to be our dining room where we're going to have our dinner. It's a bit... Yeah, this is the kitchen. Samantha, who wants their own bed? There we go. This is going to be Sam's room. I'm really, really excited. 
excited because I've got my own room and no smelly, distant word. Is this bigger than your last room? A lot. Are you happy with it? <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get something. Like saying, keep out Samantha's room. You can have a cupboard here and you can have some toys or your stuff there. Finally, Sam has a home. There you go. Go on then. It's a big garden. It's big, isn't it? What do you think? I won't have to move again. Look, I'm staying there. <laughs> Are you just taking Samantha? <laughs> wow. Really chuffed for you, Sam. No, you great hug. <laughs> and Stephanie. Sam is finally settled in, and Josh has been a big part of that. We're going to the sanctuary. <laughs> Today, she's saying thank you by taking the twins to her youth club for the first time. What do I have to do? How do you name? A few months ago, this kind of social situation could have easily upset the boys, but they've come a long way. I watch Harry Potter the other day. Connect four. No! Josh won like six times. One, two, three, four. I get in. I didn't even know it was a master. It. Honestly, I just beat them all. The twins are enjoying themselves. Yes! They both seem far more relaxed these days. I've noticed um, lots of changes in the twins recently. <laughs> I burst with pride when I think about where they started and where they are now. When you move up to secondary school, you never know who you might meet and how your new friends can help change your life. Next time on Our School, emotions run high as we prepare for the Year 7 talent show. While some have stars in their eyes, oh my God, I'm really nervous. others have butterflies in their stomachs. Sing. Can't. Why? Oh. Why? Stop messing with hair. There's one night you would stick it up. Guess what? What? Do you want to come all the way down? Yeah. Go straight.